good day. Um, this is Dave from Reliable Cleaning. Um, <clears throat> some folks asked me to uh, show you our process, so I figured I'd show you a few things. This is a stone buffer that we used to do uh, commercial wood floors. Um, the cleaner we use is called multi-surface cleaner. That's a wet pickup vac that we use. It's loaded with a front squeegee. We also use an auto scrubber. We use flat mops to do our polyurethane coating. And the stripping pads uh, that we use, they're called <coughs> blue pads or blue lightning pads. And we get them at our local supplier. You could get them just about anywhere, I'm sure. Um, well, actually, they're called ultra blue stripping pads, uh, but they seem to work the best for us. There's my helper. Um, and then as you can see, he's just going over the base of the floor. Um, with the multi-surface cleaner, we run a multi-surface cleaner through our buffer. It uh, seems to work better. Keeps less moisture on the floor also. And as you can see, he's just working the, uh, the face of the floor. He's not doing any edging. We always do our edging last. Um, it seems uh, <clears throat> edging gets more debris and stuff for whatever reason on wood floors. Must be the way they uh, sweep the floors. And as you can see here, this is us doing the edging of that same floor going a little slower, going in circular motions that uh, digs out the uh, debris and dirt in the floor better. Probably goes a little bit further into the polyurethane also. And here we're putting the final touches on the edging so we can get underneath the radiator as well with a doodle bug and get into those little nook and crannies uh, to make sure everything's off the floor so you get a good clean cut with the polyurethane. And anything left over, maybe a little bit of paint or debris in corners, uh, we just take a multi-surface tool to that and get the little remaining things off the floor and then we go ahead and uh, take our wet pickup back. Pick up back get all the moisture off the floor then we lightly damp mop the floor to make sure nothing's on the floor then we vacuum um, after it dries and start coating